You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. All right, what's up, guys? This is Ninja Death Strike bringing you a Pokemon TCGO battle, an awesome Pokemon TCGO battle. Uh, so anyway, right off the bat, I'm at a disadvantage, which does not happen too often. So fully expecting a real deck here, and I am absolutely not using a real deck at all. That's a cough aggregus. Um, yeah. So messing around with a, a fun deck. And this turned out to be a crazy match. But anyhow, this is a Kofagrigus Cincino deck. Two of the hardest Pokemon names to say, with two of the most annoying abilities, abilities in the game. So, let's get into it. Um, right off the bat, I see a Mew Prime out there, and I'm actually facing a Mew Yen Mega deck, which... Wow, I didn't know that was still a thing. Um, I guess it makes sense, though. They don't really... You know, Mew counters Mewtwo, and then Yen Mega doesn't use any energy. Seems like it would just get absolutely raped by Zekrom, but whatever. Um, you know, my opponent must be pretty good if they had the, adva had the advantage. So, anyhow, uh, I go second, which is bad. They get to see off first turn, which is doubly bad. And she's going to end up seeing off a jump bluff here. That's pretty standard for Mew. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, lost zone targets. So, again, this is a deck. Well, not again. I'll probably post this before the other video. But uh, this is a deck that uses very low HP Pokemon. So level ball is just a godsend. I actually run zero collector in this deck. Uh, completely r running off of a ball engine of dual ball level ball so I hit the the dual ball there for one go ahead and grab a Mincino I'm going to attach a rescue energy to my Kofagrigus just because I want it back if he chooses to attack and uh, that oak was bad look at that hand that is a gross hand um, you know the Kofagrigus is nice but the fact that my Yen Mask is probably gonna get knocked out this turn means I won't be able to use it you know I've got a rescue energy but that's about it and then yeah no supporters and I run quite a few I have a uh, 10 draw supporters as well as uh, multiple pokegear 3.0s so you know um, this deck really aims to just chain supporters and on my first turn I whiff so in trouble already uh, then we see Crobat Prime go into the deck that's that's annoying this deck uh does not like status it gets around Cincino's ability luckily uh Kofag Regis's still works but this is actually a really really weird matchup for this deck because um my deck is based around not ever dying and just doing residual damage with Rocky Helmet while I uh while they fail to kill me with their attacks Unfortunately, if they snipe on the bench or hit me with status, that plan doesn't work. And my opponent's deck snipes me on the bench and hits me for status. So, that's cool. I do have my own edge, though, in that she's playing me Prime. And, oddly enough, Kofag Rigas has a really good matchup against Mew Prime. Go figure. So, uh, they're going to be the key. I do go ahead and get the Cincino up here. And then I need to think about where I want to attach this rescue energy. I could put it on Yen Mask, or I could put it on uh, Cincino, and then just pray to God I draw into a DCE next turn to get attacking. Um, for those of you who don't know what these abilities do, and there's a fairly good chance you won't, because these cards do not see play, Cincino has an ability called Smooth Coat, I believe, and um, every time... It takes damage, you flip a coin, and if heads, it just doesn't take damage. Uh, that's from an attack, so status damage uh, does get through automatically, and that's going to prove to be a problem because this turn, I believe, right now, my opponent is going to see off Crobat Prime, and uh, whatever poison, strong poison, or whatever it's called, is 
kind of going to ruin my day with Cincino. Um, then we have Koufax Rigas there on the bench, and look at that, top deck and end, so I'm back in the game, thank God. Uh, today's been one of those days, I don't know if you guys have those days where you just cannot draw a supporter to save your life. I lost so many matches today just because I hit a supporter dry spell, and uh, it screwed me over, but luckily, top deck the end there, and I get into a DCE, so I will be able to take a knockout on Mew this turn. I've got a level ball. Uh, so I'm thinking about what I want to do, and I'm actually going to go for the dual ball first, because if I hit one of those, I can grab another Yan Mask, and then I will have that Kofag Regis ready next turn if I need him. And while Kofag Regis does make a pretty good catcher target until it gets energy on it, I need him evolved so that his Poke Power, or his ability, I guess they are called now, his ability can be active. And Kofag Regis's ability is called Durable Body, and any time that it would be knocked out, you flip a coins, uh, flip a coin, and if heads, it's just not knocked out. It's at 10 HP every time. Uh, his ability, I found out this match, does work with status, so any time he's knocked out, it doesn't matter if he's on the bench, doesn't matter if it's from attack, any kind of damage that would take him out, you get to flip a coin, and if it's heads, he, he just is not knocked out. So that's really cool. And so now you see... The theme of this deck is just flip heads and never die. <laughs> um, if it works, you're you're literally untouchable, and if it doesn't, you lose in about six turns. Uh, but still, when you win, let me tell you, it's pretty satisfying. Uh, I should probably just call this the the, the troll deck. That's what it does. Um, it's just if I had this deck in real life, I'm pretty sure I would stick the little troll faces like on the face of each and every one of my cards because it is just a huge, huge troll. Um, when this deck's working, 50% of your opponent's attacks will just do nothing, which is awesome. So anyhow, she's got an army of Mews out, which is really going to be her key attacker here. Yen Mega is not going to do a whole lot. She also benched that Terrakion, which is kind of a risky play since... I could catch her out, but I don't have a catcher right now. I do have a Poke Gear with the first one, so I'm like, great. Here we go again. Gonna be without a supporter again and lose again. But on the second one, I hit, uh, I hit a bunch, so I'm gonna grab that Juniper because I do have the ability to burn off quite a bit of my hand this turn, and then next turn I can go ahead and play it. I'm actually okay this turn. Um, I don't need to play a supporter. And with N so popular in the format, I really try not to waste supporters if I don't absolutely need to. So I'm going to hang on to the Juniper this turn and uh, then use it next turn. So there we go. going to get my bench set up a bit just so they're down there and I can evolve them. And I wanted to play the cards out of my hand. Oh, and then I do Juniper. Never mind. Uh, I probably didn't need to do that. I could have waited till the next turn. So I'm thinking better now than I was during the game, which happens quite often. Uh, since I'll take 40 from the poison, I won't be knocked out on my turn. That's really important. means that uh, I can go ahead and attack here. There's no reason to retreat because I wouldn't have been able to attack otherwise, and this is obviously just going to turn into a straight-up prize race. She's going to be sniping my bench and poisoning my active, and I'm going to be just trying to take prizes or amuse because they're the only thing I can Oko. And so uh, neither of our decks are going to work completely like how they're supposed to here, but it still ended up being a really good match. So she uses the Poke Gear here, hits an N. That's going to be super annoying for me because my hand is pretty awesome right now, and I'm about to lose it, I know. I was just praying, like, please don't use it this turn. Just wait. Just wait one turn. But obviously she's going to. Uh, because if she wants to attack with the N Mega, she needs to equal the hand size, and my hand is massive right now, so there's no chance for her to do that otherwise. After she ends, she only needs to be able to play one card that'll equal the hand sizes and give her an attack with the N Mega. And um, she doesn't even have to attack my active because I'm going to die to poison. That also means that my rescue energy is not going to activate, so that sucks. And she's going to be able to hit something for 40. I actually have a lot of. Uh, fairly soft targets on my bench right now because nothing's evolved. So 
I pull up Cincino just to read the exact wording on his ability. It, it does say only damage uh, from an attack, so I'm obviously going to die this turn. And she chooses to snipe a Yan Mask for 40, which is a really good move. Uh, Kofag Regis is going to be a much bigger threat to her than Cincino this match, since, as I said, is capable of Okoing uh, all of her Muse. So I actually get a fairly good hand off of that N. I get an Oak, I get a Catcher, and a Psychic Energy, so that's really all I needed. going to drag up, that active, uh, drag up that Mew with a Prism Energy, just because I can kill it um and hope she doesn't get another prison of en energy again the muse are really the thing i need to worry about from my side yan mega does not scare me that badly at all uh it, it's got a two hit ko on everything that's assuming that it hits and uh you know there's a pretty good chance that i'm going to sneak by with a couple of prizes uh deny by denying her a couple of prizes with my abilities so if i can get all these mews gone and make her rely on yen mega it's not going to go well for her uh yeah and that coin flip just random uh i don't know what the deal with the coin program is on here it's based anytime you have to flip a coin it just seems like the program has a freaking mind of its own it flips for cough for uh kofag regus like randomly just every turn it doesn't even matter if anybody attacked like sometimes i'll play a supporter and it's like oh flip to see if you're knocked out and it doesn't do anything but i don't know whatever uh it doesn't actually affect the gameplay though because no matter what you flip uh it's it's all right so she's gonna catch her out my Cincino here probably just trying to stall because it didn't have any energy, I probably would have actually catched out one of my basics, maybe that other uh, Mincino, but the uh, whatever, you know, her choice. I do have plenty of energy, as you can see in my hand, so I'll be able to retreat this turn without a problem. And then she's going to go into Mew, and I believe she's going to poison me here, and then just hope that I can't get out of it, or that I... Uh, stay active because unlike the the other the the other Cincino, the do the wave one, I forget which set it's from, black and white I believe. This Cincino needs three energy to attack. That makes it quite expensive. Uh but it it's capable of hitting for up to a hundred as well. So I'm gonna grab my level ball here. I'm gonna attach the psychic energy just so I can get out of there and she was kind enough to bring her Mew active on her own, so that means I don't need a catcher to kill it. Or I can just retreat back, right back into my Yan Mask, and use Surprise Attack. It doesn't matter if I flip the heads, because it's going to die. And now, here you say, here you see I'm not going to play that Oak, and that's what I was talking about earlier, when I shouldn't have played the Juniper. Um, if I get End, and I already played that, that's one less supporter that I'm going to have the probability of drawing into. And there you go, see? She promotes Yen Mega, I flip two coins. I don't know. So yeah, if I get end here, you know, that's one more live card that I have to draw off of. And um, if I don't, then that's fine. I still have it next turn to play it. So in comes the Omega, down comes the fourth Mew. And now she needs another uh, Prism Energy or Rainbow Energy. Either really would help her out. And uh, she, I guess she doesn't have it here. Or she's going to try to match hand sizes so that she can go for an attack with the end mega but i think um what she really wanted to do here was attack with that mew i actually cut out a big chunk of her just thinking about what she wanted to do there's about a minute where she didn't do anything so she does decide to go on the offensive with mew and uh poison me here that is going to give me another prize and not going to give her one but she well, the only way for her to take a prize that turn was to attach to Terrakion and then go for the uh, Retaliate and hope that I flip a Tails on Durable Body and then Terrakion stuck. So I don't know, that was a tough call for her, but um, she poisoned me at the cost of giving up another prize and I'm really starting to pull away in the race now. Uh, I'm going to be able to knock it out this turn for my fifth prize so i'll only have one more to go i've killed all of her muse and even if she gets another one up 
uh, chances are at some point I'm going to be able to catch her it in and take it out for my last prize. So basically the only thing that can ruin my day here is an end down to one and then just flipping tails for the rest of the game. So I'm sitting here as she's uh, mulling over her options, just praying for the love of God, please don't have an end. I think she already played two. I think. Maybe she only played one. But I was just hoping she didn't have one. Because if she doesn't have one, I'm in real good shape. I've got that catcher too. So that means I'll be able to catch her up that Terrakion next turn. And uh, stop it from retaliating. And also basically trap it in the active spot with its massive retreat cost. So she... Junk Arms for a super odd. I'm assuming she put some Muse back in there. And I don't know what else she would have done. I don't think she has any basic energy in there. So they had to be Muse, which... It really is her only option, but it's just making it easier for me, too. Uh, so she's down to three cards now. And she still hasn't played a supporter. So I was feeling pretty good. The chances of her, you know, having an end here. Pretty low. Uh... So there's the rainbow energy. That means Terrakion, I think, has two. And end. So I'm going down to one card. Heart of the cards. Guide me. But fucking heart of the cards top deck the Juniper like a boss. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good after that one happened. Um, I had a fair number of outs there. Uh, you can also see, I think it's at the end of this turn. How much damage do I have? I have, yeah, I have 80 damage on my Kofag Regis right here. So, uh, she's going to end her, uh, she's going to junk arm for the Poke Gear, get herself out of her own pretty low hand size, or at least allow herself to get out of it next turn. But she matches hand sizes here. That means she's going to uh, be able to go for attack and attack. And she actually chooses to snipe my Sincino. I flip a tail, so I do take damage. But uh, right here, flip a heads, doesn't do any. Kofag uh, Regis is not knocked out, even though he's poisoned. So, yeah, You've got that Juniper. Gonna play it down right here, draw a whole new hand. And uh, there's another Kofag Regis. I don't think I'm gonna need to evolve him, though. I don't get any energy, so that kind of sucks. I guess I do evolve him. Uh, but I, um, looking here, like there's still, I'm still in danger of this Cofagrius dying to poison. There's only a 25% chance I can live through the next two turns, less than that if she attacks. So I could retreat here, but the problem is I'm not going to be able to attack with anything. So that's not a good idea. I have those junk arms in my hand though. And I realize that Terrakion is just a big fat catcher target right there on the bench. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead, junk arm out for the catcher, pull that thing active, and then it's basically trapped there. And that's the only thing that can't do anything annoying. So it's going to be forced to try and attack my active and flip a lot of tails to be able to win. So as soon as she sees me play the junk arm, she just concedes. That's going to be the game. Awesome match. Uh, I love this deck. It's so annoying, but... When it works, it is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you could probably put this deck together for next to nothing. You don't even need Collector for it. So uh, leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I actually have another really fun random deck coming up after this one. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, see you soon.